The Texas power grid is uh, also straining a bit today. Uh, it is holding up, at least for now anyway, but uh, the line of supply versus demand is really close once again. You know, the grid is quickly becoming one of the top political issues, too, ahead of the November elections. Democrats, especially the Democrat for governor, Beto O'Rourke, calling for new fixes to make the grid more reliable after last year's deadly failure here in Texas. On on the other side, though, Republican Governor Greg Abbott says everything that needed to be done was done to fix the grid. Myolitics co-host Jason Whiteley shows us today how this week will be another test for both of those arguments. We are heading into another week of triple digit temperatures and likely more questions about whether the Texas electric grid can keep up with all the demand. You know, we're at, at 80,000 megawatts of demand. We still haven't reached August yet, and we've got a system that's broken. Beto O'Rourke says if he is elected governor, he wants to connect the Texas grid to the rest of the country. This is the energy capital of the world right here in the state of Texas. We need to start acting like that, and no longer should families or businesses fear that we won't be able to keep the lights on or the heat running or the water flowing in the state of Texas. We should at least be able to do that. And when I'm governor and we connect with the national grid, we will. On Friday afternoon, Governor Abbott sent the former Speaker of the Texas House, Dennis Bonin, to campaign for him in Dallas. And when asked about tight conditions on the state electric grid twice last week, here's what Bonin told us. No, we're actually not having issues. That's the point. You've had 25 times that you've had historic demand on that grid and it has not failed in any way. The lights haven't gone off. You're actually seeing one of the most successful things of Governor Abbott's um, tenureship because what you're seeing is 25 records of demand in this state and you haven't had a problem one. That's success. That's since May, Bonin said. The Texas grid has endured 25 new records for electric demand without any outages. Energy experts, though, just hope the state can sustain that with two thirds of the summer remaining. In Dallas, I'm Jason White. So the question is, will the Texas electric grid survive the summer? That is the topic of this week's episode of Yolitics. We get right down into it, too. Some very interesting tidbits in this one. All you got to do is scan the QR code there in the corner of your screen. It takes you right to this episode, or you can find it wherever you get your podcasts by just typing in WFAA or Yolitics. And uh, this is something that all of us should be listening to because we all need the electricity. Uh, and always, thanks for listening.